Hey bookworm, so today I'm doing a book review of End of the Night Girl by Amy T. Matthews. Um, Amy T. Matthews is a South Australian author um, and this book also won the um, Adelaide Festival Award for the best unpublished manuscript, of course, before it was published. Um, so the general idea is that um, it's a story about a girl in South Australia who works as a waitress um, who is haunted by the ghost of a Polish Jew. Um, and so generally it goes... It, it's sort of... The, the character, um, Molly, is haunted by this girl and she keeps having these dreams and um, sort of horrific dreams but she doesn't understand them and certain things come to her like names and places and things and she scribbles them down and she begins writing the story of this ghost that's haunting her. Um, and it switches between Molly's life and what Molly's written from um, from what she can remember or what she's been given um, by this ghost. Um, and it's a beautiful book. It's an amazing book. I really liked it. When I read it, I remember the first day I had it, I was walking home from work. So I can't remember, but I was going home and I was walking home from work and reading it. I was literally walking and reading and in the middle of the city too, <laughs> um, the CBD, walking and reading and I think it's the first book I've ever walked and read because I just couldn't stop. I think the only time I stopped was when I was actually crossing the road at tra traffic lights because it was, I was too freaked out I was going to hit by a car. Um, but apart from that, I, I read it while I was walking down the street, I read it while I was waiting for lights to change. I read it while I was standing at my bus stop, I read it pretty much from the moment I left my work till I got home and kept reading it. I read it the next day, I read it that night, I read it in the morning on the way in. Um, yeah, it's it's an amazing book. It's re I do recommend it to anyone who's interested. It is a really well written book. Um, I know there, there I mean, it, it's almost overdone the, the whole Polish Jew story. Um, not saying, you know, not trying to be offensive or anything about, you know, the whole thing being boring, but there are so many books and so it's so overdone sometimes and sometimes you feel like, oh, it's just another one, but this was different. It wasn't so much about the horrors of the Holocaust, but, so, but more about the parallels between um, between the two different lives that are going on in the book and I think it adds a different perspective to it and I think it um, it by by shedding a different coloured light on it I guess it it shows a different side of the story while still telling the same story if that makes sense um, yes so I re highly recommend it to anyone who wants to read it it's a great book it's amazing definitely buy it if you get the chance. Um, I can, I will put a link in the comments um, to where you can just buy a copy straight away from um, the publishers because they actually Wakefield Press sells books that they publish um, retail. So I will put a link below so that you can go straight to their website and buy it off them. Um, if you'd like, yeah, so I, I can't stress how much you should really read this book. It is an amazing book and it is a great South Australian book and I highly, highly recommend it. Alright, so if you liked this review or want to re read any more books that, or you want to read a book and you'd like me to review it because you don't know if you like it or not, or you want to see any of my other reviews, um, please, if you like this video, like or like. Um, reblog, follow or subscribe, um, and I will see you guys soon.